<laughs> hey guys, uh, wow, it's a scorcher here today here in the UK. It says every English person ever when their temperature goes above 20 degrees. But the point is, uh, I was out and about in town today, and what you see on the desk is kind of the reason why. Now, I know I did say, now I know I promised that I, well, you know, I. I, I'm, I was going to do the Death Guard, and I'm not going to get another army until I do the Death Guard. But this was such a sweet freaking deal, I could not knock it up. Uh, now, I haven't played any Star Wars Legions yet, but apparently my local um, gaming group... Um, let me just get that way. My local gaming group um, at uh, Eclectic Games, where I purchased this from... Um, whew. Let's just say, I found that they do Legion Battles every Tuesday. So I was like, Legion Battles every Tuesday, Magic every other Wednesday. I think I found my new favourite hangout. So I figured the starting army is £150. It's a little bit steep for my price range right now. So I figured I'd get a few little starting units together and slowly build up. Because you can buy all the individual units and the starter army separately. Um, like you can buy Darth Vader, you can buy... The powers that be but i am a huge fan of star wars uh, uh tie fighter and a whole bunch of other games and of course they have eden verso with her droid so why not and she is a commander <coughs> a <coughs> commander expansion which means she is a hq for your army and of course what good is that without troopers trooper troopers so I figured I'd get a starting set of troopers and HQ. So next, all I would need... Now bear in mind, I'm, I'm approaching this like a 40k player, which means one HQ, two troop choice. I've only got one HQ and one troop choice. So we'll figure it out as we go along. I don't even know the rule books. I haven't, played, I haven't seen the rule books or anything yet. So uh, this is kind of a uh, what's in the box uh, kind of video. And so... <sighs> I am going to be nice. This one didn't come with cellophane, so I'm not worried about cellophane on that one, but I will get, get the cellophane off of this one. Uh, and apparently all the models in here are plastic. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I really like metal models. I'll get, yeah, if you like metal models, you like metal models. Uh, I personally don't care as long as I get my, my money's worth. And so... Inside here, we have got, ooh. So let's get everything out of the box. I'm gonna set those to the side. Nothing else in there. I might keep these boxes actually for display purpose, but inside, of course, you get the uh, little how to build. Uh, seven Stormtrooper miniatures with bases, uh, one order token, three suppression tokens, one aim token, one dodge token, one panic token, one standby token, one Stormtrooper unit card, five upgrade cards, one Stormtrooper, one HH12 Stormtrooper, one DL, uh, DLT19 Stormtrooper, one impact grenade, and one grappling hooks. Awesome. So you, you do get a nice little mixed lot. Even lists the playtesters that playtested the game. I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to reach out to that. Um, and it's actually approved by LucasArts. So that's a good thing. Um, and it's done by Fantasy Flight Games. <coughs> Excuse me. It's done by Fantasy Flight Games. Recommended card sleeves. One grey, one yellow. I have no idea what that means just yet. I'm assuming it's meant for these little unit cards which I think is kind of cool I'm really getting into card based and miniature based uh, uh, crossover games which means you have your, your cards so yeah these, these are all, all cards meant for individual uh, units which I think is kind of cool you know I do like that and that is kind of cool and then of course you get your uh, yeah, your base unit card precise one when you spend uh, on aim tokens, rolling up, up to, an ed to one additional dice. Uh, okay. That is 44. I, I assume that's 44 points for the unit. 
That would make sense if they do it in point systems like that. It's very, in, in, very, very cool. Uh, I do like that. Uh, now, comparing these guys to, to the size of like a, a Warhammer 40k miniature. Okay, this is a Guardsman on a 25mm base. So these are... Uh, yeah, these are 25mm bases. Okay, yeah, they're 25mm bases. Okay, so, so these are 25mm mini minis. Well, that's not too shabby. Not too bad at all. Uh, okay. So, you will need, obviously you will need modeling glue. Uh, I have some uh, Tamiya Extra Thin here, of course. Uh, so, I'm not going to put them together just yet. I'll be, I'll be saving that for another uh, uh, video. I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, see, these are going to be fun to paint because white is a real pain in the butt to paint. Because um, you have to start adding in like light blues and stuff, highlights and sh contrasts and shadows. But I think a good slap chop might be in order for these guys. So that's these guys. So I'm going to put these cards back. I'm going to move on to the Pierre de Resistance. I even pronounced that correctly. You can tell I've been reading a lot of books lately. <laughs> um, we're going to move on to the uh, Iden Verso and her droid. Now this one. Uh, is taped. Well, it's got those anti-theft tape thingies on. Okay, so you got to be careful. You don't want to stab yourself. Trust me, I've done that before. It's not nice. Of course, this. You always get one sticker that cut. Uh, one bit of tape that cuts. The other tape just gets stuck to, you know, or doesn't stick, or then ends up sticking to everything. Okay, like before, it's all in 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 simple, easy to do uh, uh, things nice I do like the way they've got the the boxes set up because it will give you something to put the models in afterwards okay I do like that okay she comes with multiple different weapons well of course she's a HQ she's, she, you, you're gonna get options with her so un unlike these guys who are mo uh, 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 mono pose um, see these guys are mono pose she can be put into separate poses with her weapons. That is cool. I like that. That is awesome. She comes with two bases, one for herself, one for her droid. See, on the box, I honestly thought she came with extra miniatures because they're right here. And I, I honestly thought she came with like a little bit of a, an honor guard kind of thing. Uh, but my, my own... Ah, okay, they're alternate... Uh, 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 builds for her. Oh, okay. Makes sense now. Makes sense now. They're alternate uh, poses for her. Uh, so I could give her her an E11 carbine and uh, an attack order fist uh, with or without the helmet. That is cool. I like that. Nice touch. Uh, so that that was my own mistake. That's my own fault. I'm 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 not even mad now. I was like, oh, I got ripped, you know, but I didn't actually. I didn't, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So, Droid comes in th uh, 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 three bits, either side and the head, and then it goes on to the stand. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, she's mono pose. You, yeah, uh, 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 um, multiple pose. Yeah, so you can mix and match. Assembled C and D, assembled A and E, and assembled B and F. Uh, let's see. Ah, there's even separate types of helmets. You can go with the TIE Fighter one with the breather, or she, she can go with the um, uh, at that one without the breather. Okay, so she gets a DL50 repeater, an E11. Alright, I'll give it, I'll definitely give her the, the um, DL50 or the E11. Uh, a DLT20A? No, no, no. That would be it. Look way too big for her. So yeah, it's definitely going to be the DL50 repeater. And again, I'm just going for looks wise. I don't know what the stats are or anything. Because like I said, I've never played this game before. But uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely freaking lootly. Do I think I got my money's worth? Um, yeah, I do actually. Um, the uh, uh, as you saw on the packaging, um, I don't know. So is uh, just under 20 pounds, 19 pounds, 99p, plus tax. 
and our troopers was uh, 20 and the stormtrooper set uh, tr the stormtroopers was 29.99 plus tax so yeah all in all i think i got a really sweet deal um i don't think i i, I don't feel like i got ripped off um i genuinely don't i genuinely feel like i actually got a really sweet freaking deal um and like I said, it gets me started. It gets me into uh, the hobby. It gives me some miniatures to paint that aren't Death Guard. <laughs> so I'm not going to go cross-eyed painting Death Guard green uh, all the time. And so, yeah, I, I genuinely think for the 50-something pounds I paid total, uh, I've got a nice little, good little... I, yes, technically I don't have a lot in selection-wise of miniatures, but it will give me something to paint, it will give me something to practice, lots of blacks, browns, greys, uh, for her, for the stormtroopers, definitely lots of whites, greys, uh, uh, eggshell whites, things of that nature, apple, apple whites, um, things of that nature. And so yeah guys, so that's what I, I bought modeling wise for myself this month, of course, we also still have our Walker Bulldog uh, 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 tank here. Uh, so we're going to be painting this guy up. I've even got some customization ideas I want to do, like the um, the grab handles. I'm probably going to uh, sand those back and make some real ones out of uh, 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 bent to uh, out of bent rod. Um, of course, the battle gun. I'm going to drill out the barrel properly. Uh, maybe work on uh, on some of the finer detail stuff for the uh, tank. Um, the, the drive gear, nothing really going on with the drive gear. I might make them a little bit mucky, uh, throw some mud on there kind of thing. Uh, maybe even ding it up, paint it and scratch it up a little bit. But again, I can do that with, with uh, um, paint chips and various other thought forms. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much what's going on uh, on the bench. Of course, we've got our uh, Commander's 50 cal. Uh, so we can put that there. So... Hey yeah, guys, that's what's got what's going on, uh, models wise. Uh, electronics wise, uh, like I said, I uh, this is the dead uh, um, or bricked uh, EEPROM uh, for uh, an old uh, Challenger, Challenge, uh, uh, Ventura Challenger Pro 10 inch tablet. I've repurposed the battery, I have repurposed the touch screen, I have repurposed the display screen, um, and I've even repurposed the case. Uh, again, I'm building my own custom tablet based on a Raspberry Pi uh, W2. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, electronics and soldering and whatnot. Uh, I've got a uh, USB Type-C battery charger and balance, load balancer circuit board on its way, which is what I'm going to use to charge up the battery pack that was originally in the original tablet, as well as use it to... Uh, maybe be a data line port as well so I'll have to get some of those spring terminals and work on a daughter board so that uh, when you plug it in it will charge up the battery but you can also move over firewalls and whatnot to it like you can on a regular tablet uh, but yeah guys uh, I'm also going to try and uh, figure out if I can't find a custom uh, Android 11, 12 or 13 ROM uh, to go on it, or I might just go whole hog, go go full bore, and just put something like uh, uh, Debian, Red Hat, Mint, um, or even Kali, Kali Linux <clears throat> on it, and uh, use it as a little mobile uh, workstation. Uh, it, with the exception of my uh, uh, laptop, uh, I also bought a couple of books as well while I was in town um, to help with my schooling. As you guys know, I'm going to school for cyber security and ethical hacking uh, so I've got that got some books to read uh, so yeah I've got some stuff to do guys uh, apart from you know paid miniatures and whatnot which I will be doing uh, Monday Tuesday uh, I will be live uh, doing some stuff there but that's what's been on the bench and uh, that's what's planned so we have got some Star Wars miniatures uh, for the Star Wars Legion game uh, to uh, paint up and uh, apparently according to them it will take uh, two to three hours was that for a game or 
two players, two to three hours, 14 plus. So, yeah. Okay, I was going to say 14 hours to paint the model. What, Golden Demon Standard? Jesus. Uh, so, yeah, we've got those to do. Uh, I'm also waiting on... I, it was supposed to be coming today, but the f***ing delivery bu uh, guy fucked me over. I did say to him... I, I left a note with Amazon saying, please call my number when my package is, is here. That way I can open the door and, and, and get it from you. He never called. Uh, and all I had was a little note from DP, whatever the shipping company is, saying, Oh, we tried to send you... No, you didn't. No, you didn't, because if you read the fucking notes, it would have said, please call this number. So, Jason, who's my delivery driver, shame. Anyway, uh, but anyway. At least then Bison thinks it's funny. Uh, so, it's uh, my actual um, Masterclass uh, Boba Fett helmet, which I'm going to be wearing, uh, well, customizing. It's going to be the base that I'm going to be using to customize my own Mandalorian uh, helmet for my upcoming uh, London Comic Con cosplay where I will be going as Von Kar Krell who is my actual Mandalorian bounty hunter character I've had for 20 plus years um, with my friend Phil being the GM uh, so Star Wars D6 West End Games character um, I've had him for ugh, like I said 20, <laughs> 20 plus years um, and yeah, Von Karkrell is true to my heart. It's true to my character. He is who he is. Um, and he is... The best way to describe it is if you're a, if you're a Warhammer 40, 40k player, think Karkaradons, i.e. humans that think they're tribalized Samoan sharks, um... But in a Mandalorian bounty hunter that uses M16 machine guns. He uses black powder weapons. He doesn't use... He, he, he does have a blaster. He does have a DL-50. Which is, ironically, what I'm going to be giving uh, 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 that character. Uh, he does have a DL-50 blaster. But his preferred uh, uh, weapons of joy is a uh, uh, highly, highly modified uh, M60 machine guns. Um... Which, as you know, in Star Wars uh, West End games, uh, kinetic weapons uh, uh, go right through stormtroopers. Uh, their armor, literally. If you think their armor is bad, being shot with a blaster, it it might as well be tissue paper compared to what black powder weaponry can do. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just say uh, in Phil's game, uh, the Battle of Endor, Han was not there. Luke was not there. Leo was not there. There was none of the main heroes. They were all up in space fighting the Death Star. It was just me and I think like three other people in our group actually got sent to Endor. Uh, one of which was my friend Kenny who absolutely detests uh, uh, Wookiees and Ewoks. And he, 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 he made some virus that turned them all into like rats or something. Anyway... So they sent us, and it was like, oh, look, ATSDs. <laughs> now they're walking colanders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the re again, the reason why I like black powder we weapons is because lightsabers also have a hard time blocking them. Uh, because it's a physical uh, 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 lead bullet uh, uh, going towards them. When they hit the bullet with the lightsaber, it literally melts the metal, but, and the metal still splashes on them. So they get hit with molten metal, which burns them. Which eventually, I, I eventually I've killed. I've actually killed Jedi. Um, also, the fact that it doesn't help. I've got a commit uh, 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 one of them lizards that stops the force power. Force powers from working on you. Uh, I have that. Uh, I have one of those creatures, and I've had his blood uh, woven throughout the metal on my Mandalorian armor, so like force push, choke, things like that, does not affect me, you can't even read my mind, I'm literally Magneto when I'm wearing my helmet, Jedi's can't even read my mind, we'll do that, we are not the droids you're looking for, I'm just like, yes they are, what, yes they are, that is a protocol droid, that is an astromech, you are Obi-Wan Kenobi, that is Luke Skywalker, and that's when they finally realize, oh crap, 
yeah, I, uh, yeah. I've, I've done some horrible things to, to force sensitive characters, both NPC and, and player characters. Because, like I said, I'm a bounty hunter. You know, it's not personal; it's just business. And that literally was my character's motto: "It's not personal; it's just business." <laughs> and every time I said that sentence, some of our, our force sensitive friends in the group would cringe because they knew it means I've, I've killed someone of their kind. <laughs> which was cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that video here. Thank you for hanging out. You guys are awesome. And uh, I will see you in the next one.